If you're heading out for a drink this weekend, you're going to have to order some food with that, Adam, like the Irish nachos here at Shamrock Jack's in Arondequoit. Now, bar and restaurant owners and breweries we spoke with today say they're just trying to wrap their minds around the governor's new rule heading into this weekend. Shamrock Jacks is Mark Petzing's family business. He's trying to make sense of the governor's order heading into this weekend. I got a friend of mine, he comes in here every day. We became like friends, families over 17 years. And now I have to, he comes in for one beer. He doesn't drink a lot. Now I have to tell him you have to order food when you come in. He says it's already been tough on all bars and restaurants, and now his staff is trying to understand exactly what it means in terms of ordering food in order to drink. It can't be chips, it can't be pretzels, it, it, ha it has to be substantial food. So we're trying to come up with something, is it a, is it a cup of soup, is it a, a sandwich, a half a sandwich, um, something that doesn't cost a lot because they're going to be spending you know, money on, on drinks. Here's what the governor's order says about enforcement. Citizens who see violations or are concerned can report complaints, including photos, to the state liquor authority at www.sla.ny.gov. People we spoke with who plan on dining out this weekend say they're confused. Well, for the businesses, I think it's horrible that they have to do this all over again. A lot of people are losing their business over this. And I think food has nothing to do with it. While Petzing says he won't let this break his family's livelihood. I always say it could be worse and, and keep smiling and move on. We're stubborn Irish people, so we're going we're gonna to keep going. It's just um, they definitely make it difficult for us. So food and appetizers are a must this weekend if you're heading out for a drink with your friends or your family, Adam. And just to make sure, you know, you're making sure you're ordering something to go along with your drink. And bar and restaurant owners, like we said, are still trying to figure out the rules moving forward. And they said they're just going to try to learn as they go. For now, we are live in Arondequoit, Rebecca Fath, News 8. All right, Rebecca, I'm not going to lie. That looks really good. So thank you for that, Rebecca Fath.